Many people learn to live when they know they're going to die. And we're not talking bucket lists, uh, but really getting things together. Uh, and, uh, and I've just seen people, even young people, die with so much dignity and, and just full of life. Really, to see, see great life and great lives in death uh, is rewarding. Doesn't matter how I feel, but it's rewarding for the person going through the process. It's tragic when people opt for euthanasia or physician assisted dying uh, only because pain relief is not available. When, when we have the knowledge and ability to provide pain relief, but uh, it's simply because of either resource allocation or uh, uh, regulations about the control of narcotics not available to them. Very many people want to live when they know they're going to die. And some of them really begin to live. And in the last stages, in palliative stages, it's, uh, it's just a wonder to behold to see a person knowing they're going to die, accepting it, and the relief for the, for the family to uh, have the person to, <laughs> closer, more human almost than they, than they ever had been. When a patient is screaming in pain, the family and the patient, they can't talk to you about anything else. They can't even plan, they can't think of the future, nothing. Once you've got the pain control, then we can start working with them with, with what they want, what, what, how they're most comfortable, try and keep them on their feet until the day they die so that they feel that they're contributing. If they're in severe pain, for many people, it's, it's the overriding priority. I mean, you, you have patients towards the end of life, for instance, uh, who, are, who are basically begging to die because of the pain they're in. As I contrast the celebratory qualities of the beginning of life and end of life, the celebration near the end of life is a much more mature quality because there's a life lived. At the beginning of life, it's all potential. You don't really know how it's going to turn out. And so it's a immature, childlike hopefulness. Contrast at the end of life where there is a life lived. Values, personality, achievements, struggles are all present. And if one is well cared for, you can look back across the entire spectrum with a sense of quietness, a sense of pleasure, a sense of having accomplished something in the world, of made a difference in the world. That is not possible at the beginning of life. There's nothing in my life that I've done, and I've done medicine in every, every specialty, in surgery, in obstetrics, in pediatrics, in everything. Nothing in my life has given more joy than seeing somebody who's been in pain for so long be relieved and to be able to come to terms with the families and with their God before they die. And that, that is better than any funding or any money or anything. <laughs>